Over the past several seasons, the Buffalo Sabres have seemingly made a bit of a habit of picking with the 8th overall pick in the NHL draft. In 2013, they selected Rasmus Ristolainen. In 2016 and 2017, they chose with the 8th pick, taking Alex Nylander and then Casey Middlestat. And most recently, during the 2020 entry draft, Buffalo selected Jack Quinn with the 8th overall choice, and at this point, it looks like he could be the best of them all. I recently made a video about the newly acquired Sabres prospect Peyton Krebs, who came over to Buffalo as part of the Jack Eichel trade. And I would argue that Jack Quinn is the Sabres' second best prospect at this point, behind only Owen Power, last year's first overall selection. And before we go into the early career of Quinn, please consider hitting like and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. We just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, which I'm super thankful for. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you would join in. Jack Quinn is a 20-year-old winger from Cobden, Ontario in Canada, who stands in at 6 foot 176 pounds. Quinn was selected in the first round, 8th overall by the Buffalo Sabres in the 2020 draft. And interestingly enough, he may have been the biggest riser out of any prospect, going from a player who may have gone undrafted to a projected top 10 pick in just one year. And much of this was due to his breakout season for the Ottawa 67s during the 2019-20 year. During Quinn's rookie season for Ottawa in 2018-19, he scored just 12 goals and 20 assists for 32 points in 61 games. And the next year, his draft year of course, he exploded for 52 goals and 89 points in 62 games played. His 52 goals were not only tops on his team, but also second in the entire OHL that year behind only Maple Leafs prospect Nick Robertson, who was selected in the 2019 draft and was a year older than Quinn. Much of the reason as to why Quinn had such a big season was due to the fact that he started playing with stud teammate Marco Rossi as his center, the guy who led the OHL in points with 120 in 56 games, and also because he was getting much more playing time and power play minutes. And before the draft, there was an argument of whether Quinn's elite play was a product of Marco Rossi or if he was capable of doing it on his own as well. And I think the fact that Quinn ended up going number 8 in the draft and Rossi went number 9 just behind him speaks for itself. In the 2020-21 season, Quinn would get his first taste of pro hockey, joining the Rochester Americans of the AHL. He had a respectable rookie season with 9 points in 15 games along with some flashes of brilliance. Quinn was also a part of the loaded Team Canada World Juniors team and would put up 5 points in 7 games helping his country to a disappointing silver medal. This year Buffalo has decided to give the youngster some more time down in the American Hockey League and man is Quinn lighting it up so far. Through 17 games at the time I'm recording this, he has 11 goals and 13 assists for 24 points. This is good for not only first on Rochester, but also a tie for first in the entire American Hockey League. And his 1.41 points per game is also first among players who have played at least 15 games. Jack Quinn is making a statement with how he's playing early in his pro hockey career, and if he continues to play this way, the Buffalo Sabres are going to have no choice but to call him up to the NHL. And I think it's only a matter of time before we do see him make his NHL debut, although there is certainly nothing wrong with letting him continue his development down in the AHL, continue to gain confidence and refine his skills as an elite point producing winger. Quinn established himself as a sniper in his second season in the OHL with the 67s. And not only has he continued to have that scoring touch and shooting ability in the AHL, he's also proven he has playmaking and passing skills that are also top notch. In addition, one underrated attribute of his game may be his hands and deking ability, which has proven to be elite, and he's shown it off in the shootout a few times in his pro career as well. The one weak point in his game going into the 2020 draft was mainly his skating, but that also appears to have gotten much better in the past year and a half, and I highly doubt that it will hold him back in any way going forward. Some of the players he himself said he likened his game to in the profile before his draft included David Posternock and TJ Oshie, and I do see similarities in both of those guys' games when you compare them to Quinn. You'll have to let me know down in the comments who you would compare Jack Quinn's game to so far in his career. 
I think if you're a Buffalo fan, you should be very excited about a guy like Jack Quinn. And like I said earlier, I think he is likely the Sabres' second best prospect at the moment. And with the stockpiling of young assets they build up lately, that certainly says a lot. I see Quinn as a guy that could at the high end score 35 to 40 goals in the NHL one day. And he's shown that he is more than just a scorer over the past few seasons in the American Hockey League. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.